Hello there, welcome to this tutorial on self-loading cargo version 1.6.3.1 onwards on how to use the fly-by-wire A320 3D cockpit controls with the comms interface of self-loading cargo. I'm sat here with my co-pilot here in the fly-by-wire Airbus and uh, basically what you need to do first of all is to open up self-loading cargo, open the extended toolbar, go to settings, make sure this is turned on by going to the compatibility tab, aircraft, fly-by-wire and making sure that the enable overhead comms buttons checkbox is in fact checked and then close out over there. Now what you can do is you the, the functionality of these buttons here um, which have been implemented in this aircraft because unfortunately the control panels down here they don't actually work for the uh, for the for the selections we need to make so these buttons here have have been uh, integrated into this comm system here so in in lieu of these buttons here you can control self and cargo via these buttons so what that means is you can actually turn this interface off and you never need to see it throughout the course of your flight which makes uh, the interaction and uh, the immersion a little better so in order to do that if you open the voice helper window which you can see here by clicking on the question mark you will see there's a button here that says SLC UI I'll move it out of the way so you can see SLC UI in green if I click that it goes red and the interface disappears so you no longer have to have the self and cargo interface on screen if you don't want to your choice but basically all I need to do now to manipulate self and cargo is to use these four buttons at the top and this one this mech contacts the ground all makes a broadcast to the cabin via the PA system and FWD forward and aft control the intercom this one in the cabin crew so if I wanted to make a PA broadcast I would click all and you can see this has opened up so I can now start talking if I wanted to make a PA to my passengers which I don't what I want to do is summon the cabin crew to the intercom you can see it's been changed to intercom hi captain and she's picked up how are things going we're already here once we start the taxi we'll get started securing the cabin for takeoff thanks and she's hung up if I want to summon the ground, if I click on mech, it's going to key the microphone and we wait for the ground crew to connect up. We're actually in France at the moment, so it'll be a French ground crew. So we wait. Go ahead. Radio check, please. Check those by those of faith. Roger. Easy as that. So I'm going to bring, bring the cabin crew back. Remember she's got to walk the length of the aircraft to wherever the intercom is. So it takes an indeterminate amount of time for her to answer. Hi. Could you start the cabin music please? No problem. Give me a second. Thanks. We can't hear the music because the uh, the door's closed. Now where is the button for opening the door? This one. So she did turn the music on. And that's all there is to it. So if you if you want to uh, to do, perform the integration, you can just use these four buttons, and uh, so floor and cargo will function as normal. Remember to get the interface back. You just have to click the red button. And then you're back to normal, and you get access to all of your all of your extra windows, including turning the music off manually if you like. And that's all there is to it. So, I hope you find that useful. Thank you for using Self Loading Cargo, and I will see you in the next video.